Aloha everyone, this is Beth of Cooking and Crafting. Today we are making a deco mesh angel. It's YouTube's best for creative things. It's cooking and crafting. Hey kids. Some of the things that we are going to need is a hot glue gun, some ribbon, I'm going to opt to use pipe cleaner, um, but you can use wire also. And then I have 10 inch uh, decorative deco mesh, right? So, well, oh, also you will need an ornament or a foam ball, I guess you could use, but I think the ornament would look nicer, more finished. I didn't have a white ornament. So what I did was I took one of my um, blue ornaments and I used some of the, let's see, Martha Stewart wedding cake uh, acrylic and I used a little, um, whoopsie, a little t um, foam pouncer and I just put the acrylic directly onto the pouncer and just pounce and I did two um, layers of acrylic paint. It could probably use a third, but I'm just going to go ahead with this right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our deco mesh and we are going to cut 12 pieces that are 10 inches long. So you'll end up with a 10 by 10 piece of deco mesh. What we're going to do is we're going to take that 10 inch piece of mesh and you're going to grab one end here and one end here and you're going to pull. Find the center and hold them to it in your hand. And you are going to go ahead and do this for all 12 pieces. Just hanging on to them and gathering them in your hand. Once you have all 12 gathered in your hand, you can either use a wire or like I said, a fuzzy stick to go ahead and gather all of these and twist very firmly. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take one, two, three, four, five, and six pieces down from this side. And then you'll take six pieces down from this side. Two, three, four, five, and six. And you are going to take another piece of your uh, fuzzy stick and about an inch below you're going to gather and tighten in the back. But I will go right here an inch down and gather and turn it over and twist it very nicely and firmly. Take your wire snippers and snip off the excess. All right, so now this is what we have. We are going to take our ornament and as you can see, I have taken the top here off. We're not going to need this top, so you can get rid of that. And you're going to take your hot glue gun and you are going to glue the ornament to the top here of the neck of your angel. So just go ahead and make sure that you have quite a bit of um, hot glue stuck there on the back of your, on the bottom of your angel's neck here. And this is what's going to take the longest, so make sure that you hold it in place while it dries. So, so just hang on to it there in place for a couple of minutes just to make sure that it's on there securely. While that continues to dry, we're going to take 
three pieces of ribbon that is about three inches long and then you're just going to fold it in half and create a fishtail bottom here. I happen to have wire edge ribbon but you do not have to use it. So we'll take all three of these and we'll put them all side by side and we're just going to go ahead and gather and use a piece of wire and secure that nice and tightly in the back and snip off the ends. Next, we're going to make a bow out of that same ribbon. I'm going to cut a longer piece of wire and have that ready. Now this ribbon that I have here is a one-sided ribbon. See, what I mean by one-sided is one side here has the um, sparkle but the back side does not. It's just a flat um, back side here. So to make that to make that ribbon, I'm going to go in about four inches, four inches, four inches, and then I'm going to gather this like this. I'm going to kind of turn it there so that the glitter part shows. Now, if you have two-sided ribbon. It's so much easier and I have a tutorial already on how you can make that two-sided one. It's just simple, simple, simple. Take your piece of wire and hold it together nice and tightly and twist. All right, it's dry. So now we're going to take the little collar piece and we are going to glue it on to the front here and that will effectively cover the gathering for the skirt. I'm going to hold that down for a second here make sure that it stays in place and then I am going to hot glue the back of the ribbon here and I'm going to place that on top of the collar that we created. I took a pipe cleaner and I made the circle uh, about the size or a little bit bigger of the ornament and I tied it up and left the back part here and what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this to the back of her head to create the halo. So there you go, our Deco Mesh Angel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I come out with videos every Monday and Thursday. And by subscribing, what it'll do is it'll keep you up to date as to what I am up to. Also, leave me a comment below. I truly appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching. Bye.